If you want to keep a detailed records of your WordPress form entries, then Google Sheets is the best and free spreadsheet program. You can easily create, edit and collaborate with others on the spreadsheet. So in this video, we will show you how to send the contact forms to Google Spreadsheet easily. Also, we'll discuss how we can do it with Everest Forms Google Sheets add-on. There is another method as well, but with Everest Forms Google Sheet, it's quick and straightforward setup. So first of all, to use the add-on, you need to install and activate the Everest Forms free and the pro version. You can first install the free version by searching it in the search bar of your dashboard. And after activating it, you need to next install the pro version to integrate WordPress Forms with the Google Sheets. So next, purchase and install the Everest Forms Pro plan that's most suitable for you. Also, don't forget to add a license key so that you can use add-ons and get updates for the plugin. Next on, search for the Google Sheets add-on under the Add-ons tab. Now, simply install it and activate it. Your next step is to create a new form. You get an option to either choose from the pre-built templates or start from the scratch. The choice is fully yours. No matter whichever option you choose, this drag and drop form builder makes it super easy to build a beautiful form in no time. You can also customize your form fields effortlessly as per your need. You can also configure the general settings and the email settings of your forms. Moving on, you need to now send your WordPress contact form data to the Google Spreadsheet. So this needs to be done so that all your form entries are automatically saved and stored in a spreadsheet. But before connecting the WordPress contact form to Google Spreadsheet, you need to authenticate the Google Sheets first. For this, go to the Everest Forms Settings tab. Here, click on Integration. You'll see a Settings icon besides Google Sheet. So soon after that, you'll see two fields for Google Client ID and Google Client Secret. So you will need the ID and secret key first to generate a Google access code and authenticate your Google account. But if you do not know how to get the Google client ID and secret key, you can learn it from our detailed documentation on the Google Sheets add-on. So once you have both the key and the ID, go back and paste them into the respective fields. After that, click on authenticate with Google account. A new window will open. Here, choose your Google account, log into it and access the code that's been generated. Now copy and paste the code in enter Google access code bar. Now complete your authentication step by clicking on verify access code. After completing the authentication step, you can now connect your WordPress contact form to Google spreadsheet. So to do that, navigate to Everest forms and click on all forms. Here, open the contact form you want to embed to Google Sheets from your dashboard. Here, go to integrations and click on this button called connect new spreadsheet. Now you'll be asked to enter a spreadsheet nickname. You can provide any name that you like or suits your purpose. Here we'll be naming it contact form spreadsheet. After that, you need to enter the Google spreadsheet ID and the Google spreadsheet nickname. For this, you should go to the Google spreadsheet and create a new sheet first. Then name your spreadsheet and enter the column names to create a header row. Also make sure to enter the column names similar to the form fields in your contact form. So this enables pulling relevant information from the contact form to Google Sheets without any problem. Next, copy the spreadsheet ID from the URL as shown in the screen. So now paste the spreadsheet ID and enter the nickname that you have provided to your Google Spreadsheet and click on Connect Google Spreadsheet button. So after you have connected the Google Spreadsheet, you need to now map the list fields with the available form fields. So the purpose of mapping field is to pull the corresponding form field information to your Google Spreadsheet. And finally, don't forget to save the settings by clicking on the save button at the top. So now all your form entries will be sent to Google Sheets whenever users submit the form.